Hello everyone and welcome to our series on introduction to Vue.js. In this video, we'll be learning about filters in Vue.js. Filters in Vue.js are used to modify values inside some variable to display a different value or concat some other value to be displayed only in HTML. These would not impact the actual value of the variable. So let's start by understanding how we can use filters or create filters in Vue.js. Before we move forward, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any notification of any new videos that we put across. Now, to create a filter in Vue.js, first we have to create a filters tag inside the script of your component uh, as we had created a method uh, a value or a data tag there in uh, your script tag and there you create a function of the name that best suits your functionality that your filter would do and this function would get an input value of uh, input uh, as a value of uh, the variable which on which this filter is applied to now what you can do is you can write the complete javascript method to modify the value and return the expected output of uh, what you want to display out of it. So for example here I was using the user's salary as the salary I expected to be in terms of thousands. So if you have a salary of 10,000 I would only have 10 in the salary variable. So this filter I have just created to multiply that with thousand so that the actual figure can be displayed and apply a zero for the decimal part. So this is how I have created one filter. Now you can also create n number of filters and you can chain them uh, one after other. So the input of the second uh, filter would be the output of the first filter value. So let's see how we can do this or achieve this thing. So over here what I have done is earlier we had uh, created a list of users where we only had id and name now i've added another variable there for each user that is salary now the salary contains only the value of the salary divided by the thousand so that we don't have to uh, maintain a long uh, actual long value and we just keep it short and we have that value in shorter form so this is the salary that we have and what i have done is i've binded the salary to the LIE that we have created in our earlier videos. Now if you have not gone through the looping video of our uh, series you should definitely click on the eye icon on the top right corner so that you are aware about how to use the for uh, looping mechanism in the Vue.js video. So I have just binded this uh, salary over here and let's see how this has displayed so it shows the id name and salary as 12 right now now 12 is not the actual salary the actual salary is 12000 now that is why i created one filter function so filter function with name of convert to salary this is a function that we have created which receives input value and we converted that value by multiplying it by 1000 and adding a decimals to place zero there so that it gives a look, look and feel of a uh, actual figure, actual numbers uh, of your salary. So this is I have created a filter. Now what we can, what we have to do is we have to apply a pipe and just name, just add the name of your filter there. Now if you see the salary is now converted to thousands, adding a decimal and two zero, and we also have this uh, forward slash and hyphen sign so that that is how we actually represent uh, amount or or uh, your values of uh, your salary now i also want to add now a dollar sign before uh, the value of your salary so we i have also created one more filter over here which says add currency now this add currency can be uh, can be something that you want to display according to the users uh, place where the user belongs to so there can be like this user list can have uh, the country in which the user is there and now according to country you want to modify this value so this is this is something that you can definitely do so this is uh, right now we are just hard coding it to be a dollar uh, there 
so what i have returned is this value and i have added a dollar sign before the value so this this is add currency and now to add a currency what we'll do is we add a pipe now this add currency will have a input value that is given by the output of the convert to salary that that means the add currency will have value that is already modified and is uh, multiplied by 1000 and having the decimal two zeros and the forward slash this thing so so now this complete add currency would uh, represent our dollar and the figure that we have now we can also have a method uh, of filter that can also add some group separators or we can apply some regex to add some group separators according to the country or region this uh, app is getting opened in so ag again we can create a group separator group separator function now this function will have an input value and we can we can do all sort of uh, modification on the value right now i'm not doing anything for this uh, so i'll leave it up to you so that you can just uh, apply your logic of applying a regex and modifying the value to, to having the group separator so this is how the group separator would work and then this group separator can always be applied as a pipe again over here and you can keep cascading your pipes and create more pipes according to your functionality that you wish to achieve now there is some issue on this thing let's remove this so that it keeps working fine yeah so this is how we can create filters and we can uh, modify the value only in the dom actual value if you see so if you want to see that if the user actual salary has been modified or not let's see if it is actually getting modified or not so you can see i've got 12 in uh, the last which is displaying the exact salary uh, value that was there in the user object so this filters will only work and only modify the value that is to be displayed it will not modify the actual value inside the variable so now i have committed the same code on github and uh, on github if you see uh, i can show you the code there so on github i have created another folder for each of my videos where i have done some changes in the code and so you can see for each video and every video will have different folders so this is representing for filters now if you download this code and you can check uh, how you can run the uh, code and here you will have all the functionalities that we just created in login so in login if you see we have this create filter over here so uh, you can definitely refer to this code any day uh, you want and i'll add this link to my github account to this uh, repository in the description of the video thank you for watching the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any notifications of any new videos or series that we put forward we would love to hear from you of any feedbacks or any any uh, tutorial that you want us to do of any specific features of the language which we have put across or any new language that you want us to uh, make videos on. So we would appreciate if you can uh, comment on the videos and uh, we would definitely reach out and look forward to uh, answer your queries.